Tom Zeke. And what do you do, Tom? Um, what I do basically is uh, I do illustrations for comic books. And I got my portfolio here, so I'd love to show you a few pieces and uh, hope you guys like it. Yeah. And you're based here in Ottawa as well, Tom? Yeah, I'm pretty much uh, Ottawa born and raised. I mean, um, it's, you know, it's my home more or less. Uh, it's been... Uh, it's been great to go to events like this, uh, like the, these Wonder Geeks events, just because I, I didn't really know there was a strong community in terms of uh, comic art before. So I always figured I was like a, sort of a lone wolf in town, I guess. But uh, ever since I found out about these, these just these goings on, like uh, it's, I've been you know meeting a lot of cool people and having a much better time with what I've been doing. And I actually thought that as well to be perfectly frank because uh, in Ottawa it seems like you have to do a lot of uh, you know digging to see where uh, I guess you could say the different scenes are for sure so you know uh, we can have a look at your artwork and you know it's I saw a bit of it and it seemed pretty impressive so you know it deserves to to get that recognition for sure so yeah awesome um, it's mostly um black and white I work uh, I've always loved working with ink um, brush I, I don't really use uh, any sort of pens or microns or anything like that um, yeah I fell into comic book art I guess uh, you would say uh, after or maybe it was uh, more during uh, the animation program at Algonquin I was taking um, I was I was getting really good grades but at the same time, I was struggling because I felt like I was uh, conforming my style a lot to fit into um, just what the teachers were asking. And uh, despite my hard work, uh, they could they could tell that uh, I, I wasn't uh, really comfortable doing what they were asking me to do. So, I mean, it's just... I, I would say that this is more or less what I'm born to do. Uh, I know that uh, I got uh, a, f a fair ways to go, but uh, I've heard um, some fairly encouraging feedback from um, from some professionals I've met at uh, the Ottawa Comic Con or Fan Expo. Like, um, I guess uh, if you want to get into comics, like there really is no way around it. Like those are the really the meccas of. Uh, the art world like you'll you'll never be able to uh, approach a, an artist working for Marvel or DC or Mad Magazine uh, with such ease as you would at um, at uh, conventions like that so uh, it's nerve-wracking it's nerve-wracking as hell um, you're probably gonna have a, a fairly rough time of it the first few times you show your portfolio I had a, few, a rough time as well the first few times, but uh, that's, you know, if you're serious about comics, you'll learn um, more from maybe five minutes talking to uh, a professional than you would uh, doing it yourself or even reading comics uh, all year round. So it's really something I'd recommend. Yeah. So you, <clears throat> you'd say the community in Ottawa is it sounds like they've been very supportive even though you know unfortunately uh, uh, the institutions in Ottawa have seemed sort of inclined to uh, you know inch you towards conformity uh, what do you have to you know if you could elaborate a bit more on that or you know about the community or otherwise that'd be great okay well yeah I can tell you uh, mostly about uh, my own experience like uh, in terms of conformity I guess um, there's not really any schools geared towards comics I've heard um, that there are a few things in um, Quebec um, but I've really heard mixed reviews about it because um, comic art in itself it's it's illustration it's you've got to have your own approach to it and you've got to develop that yourself um, so you can't really go into it thinking that a year is going to make you bring you to uh, a level where you'll be on par with pros. Um, I guess uh, 
some good advice I got was from uh, uh, an artist, a very talented artist, uh, Yannick uh, Paquette, who works for, uh, I think he's doing stuff for DC right now. Uh, he told me that uh, when it comes to comic art, it's uh, more or less different artists applying um, their own solutions to their own problems. Like, just uh, learning how to distinguish between the foreground and the background, it's um, something that you would think is very simple, like, well, I'll just black one out. But uh, there's so many different approaches to it, you really have to find your own, and you, can, you can't expect to be that a school would teach you that. So, I mean, when it comes to a lot of comic artists, a lot of them are really self-taught. Like, they come, they come through it, or come to it, uh, through uh, a lot of different, different paths, like uh, graphic design, or, or uh, animation, which is the way I went. Um, there are so many different ways to get to it, but you'll just, uh, you'll find your own style. You'll, you'll learn to work with uh, darks and lights. Um, although, thing, the industry is really different in that it's, in a way, it's trying to push the envelope right now because there is kind of this uh, glut in terms of uh, opportunities for jobs and stuff. You might have a, if you have a really distinctive style, you don't really have to be purely uh, a black and white artist. Um, you know, you can, different mediums, you know, um, smartphones, um, anything like that. Uh, if you can storyboard properly, if you, you can learn that, that's a really good thing to learn through animation, um, storyboarding. If you can do that, if you can follow action uh, through, uh, or just uh, get a script and visualize it yourself, that's... You know, that's the most important part. The style, the style will find you or you'll find the style. Just uh, if you keep keep at it and keep at it. Uh, I, you know, it's just like, uh, it's gonna take a lot of work. You'll have to probably do a lot of stories before you find uh, your medium uh, that you're comfortable with. So you just, uh, you have to experiment and uh, I mean, look at what the pros are doing, but just know that uh, they're applying their own um, their own their own solutions to the problems that they they face, and uh, that's that's how they do it. But uh, if you're serious about it, you're gonna find your own solutions, and you're not, you're not gonna be satisfied just uh, copying, uh, just looking at uh, opening up a comic in front of you and just drawing what you see, because. Uh, if you're not adding anything new to the game, if you're not trying to, uh, to, uh, I don't know what the word, <laughs> um, just to, uh, I guess you maybe develop your own style. Is that maybe what you're thinking of? You know, s s add your own, I don't know, flair maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good word. Yeah, that's a good word. If you're not adding your own flair, if you're only doing what's been done before then uh, you're not really going to get very far and it's it's only going to be painful for you so okay well that you know that's that's uh, definitely good advice um, is there anything else that you wanted to uh, mention you know any good advice that was passed on to you any anything we haven't covered or cuz we we can definitely check out your artwork a little bit and just see uh, you know see how talented you are and uh, you know this is what Ottawa's missing out on, unfortunately, uh, since there's no one else really uh, reporting on it, unfortunately. Uh, I guess the best advice I could I can give anybody who's aspiring to be uh, in comics, comic art, is uh, even if you don't know anybody around you and you're feeling very discouraged, you feel like you're you're very isolated, and again, that no one no one gets you. Um, don't worry about it because this is the internet age. And uh, it's just, uh, you can reach any professional. Any professional is just an email away. So even if you're like in a, a shack in Alaska and you really want to do comics, but you, you, you have no community there, it, the internet is, is really all you need. So just like, don't, don't stress out about that. Just keep trying to develop your style. And uh, if you put in the work, the jobs will find you. So, or you'll find the jobs, I should say, yeah. So just don't give up, keep on trying and, you know, 
if you have the talent and you have the, you know, uh, dedication, then you know there are possibilities essentially, right? So. Yeah, I would say that for sure. Um, just be dedicated, put in as much as you can, and uh, don't expect it to be easy. It really won't be. You're probably gonna, if you're doing it right, you'll be stressed out a lot. Um, if you're doing it wrong, maybe uh, you're you're gonna be a little bit too easy going about it. You really do have to stress out um, a fair bit. Um, but again, like just keep at it, and yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, well, let's check out your artwork. Uh, we've, we've been talking for about 10 minutes, so let's see. That's amazing. Amazing dragon. Is there a particular piece of artwork that you would say is your favorite out of uh, all the ones here that maybe you'd want people to, to see? Well, I can show you my most recent one. Uh, it's one I actually did for a friend who was uh, going away, so I did try to put in a little more into it than uh, than if I was just doing something for myself. So uh, I'll just get that for you. All right. See, that's amazing. I wish I could draw like that. That would be... So did, how uh, how long ago did you draw this one? I think I actually finished it yesterday. Uh, something like this, uh, it might take a couple of days. Um, if you're going at it uh, like full tilt, but uh, again, like something for the most part, you do have to space your work out so you don't uh, break yourself. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's excellent. Thank you very much for uh, speaking to myself and you know doing this for Just Push Play and uh, we really appreciate it. All right, it was uh, my pleasure and to show some of my stuff. And, uh, you know, I, got, I think I got a good night ahead of me. I got, I'm just gonna like sit here, drink and, and draw. So, yeah, it's too bad you guys aren't here, whoever's watching this. Yeah, well, we'll definitely get up uh, as soon as possible and, you know, we're glad to help for sure. We, you know, help Ottawa out and, uh, you know, help, uh, the talented people in Ottawa get uh, recognition that they deserve, so. I hope we do. I hope, uh, uh, yeah, I don't expect uh, a red carpet or uh, anything like that, but, you know, if you're looking for an artist, let me know. I'll draw you something. Thank you very much. Take care.